after four years living in cramped conditions, these families are finally leaving the protected camp next to the United Nations base in Malut to return to their homes. Hundreds of people have sought sanctuary at the site since civil war broke out in South Sudan four years ago. A recent count registered 562 people remaining. As security has improved, those in the camp expressed the desire and confidence to return to their homes. After extensive consultation, more than half were settled in the nearby town this week, while 255 were relocated by the United Nations Mission in South Sudan, UNHCR and other humanitarian partners. Some went back to their former villages, while others with specific protection needs shifted to the UN protection site at Malakal until they can also go home. We've got, we've got instability over much of South Sudan, but in some areas we're able to get people out of camps and back into their homes. Um, and for them, reuniting with their friends and their family and getting back to just creating a life for themselves. It's, it's, uh, it's a Protecting civilians is primarily the South Sudan government's responsibility, but in many cases people have fled from government security forces. UNMIS provides sanctuary to almost 210,000 civilians at seven locations across South Sudan. These camps are a last resort and exist only to shelter people who genuinely fear for their lives. We're looking every, at every camp uh, individually to see if the conditions allow people to go back. They have to go back voluntarily, they obviously have to go back safely, but where those conditions are present, then we will... We're looking every, at every camp uh, individually to see if the conditions allow people to go back. They have to go back voluntarily, they obviously have to go back safely, but where those conditions are... Humanitarian agencies worked closely with those at the Malut camp prior to its closure, providing counselling, information on the security situation and ensuring access to relief services back in their communities. This is going to support them to ensure that they settle well Moving out of the POC into the community, these supports are going to be crucial for them to settle well into the new environment and continue living uh, life in the little comfort that everybody else can achieve in South Sudan in the current situation that we have. The closure of the Malut site will enable peacekeeping troops there to shift their focus from guarding the camp to increasing patrols in the surrounding area. Protection goes beyond just POC sites. So our troops that will stay in Melut will now be utilized to offer services, doing patrols, interacting with communities to build confidence, supporting humanitarian partners to access different areas, not only in Melut, but also doing outreach patrols in other different areas. The closure of the Malut site will enable peacekeeping troops there to shift their focus from guarding the camp to increasing patrols in the surrounding area. Extending that protective presence into other communities will save lives and build confidence so that over time more people will feel safe enough to return to their homes.